You might be hard pressed to find much in common with a fisherman in Okinawa, a pastor in Southern California, a hotel owner in Greece, and a farmer in Italy. But you can. That's what Dan Butner found. Butner, an explorer, holder of several endurance cycling records, and best selling author, is as handsome as a 1950s movie star. With his financial research tank filled with funds from the National Geographic Society and National Institute on Aging, Butner double teamed with Italian demographers to scour the world looking for hot spots of longevity. They found five scattered from southern Okinawa to southern California. These spots share the feature of being populated by people who live not just ridiculously long lives, but ridiculously healthy long lives. The findings are impressive. Fully 80% of the 80-year-olds on the Greek island of Akiria are still working and still growing their own food. They have only 20% of the dementia rate of Americans. They live longer than their U.S. counterparts by seven years. There's a peninsula in Costa Rica where the probability of living to 90 is more than double the U.S. figure. A 60-year-old man on the peninsula has a chance of celebrating his 100th birthday that's seven times that of a Japanese man the same age. The list goes on. Female Seventh-day Adventists in Loma Linda, California have a life expectancy of 89, a decade longer than their non-Adventist next-door neighbors. There's a mountaintop in Sardinia that's home to the world's highest concentration of men aged 100 and older. There are places in Okinawa where the prevalence of female centenarians per capita is 30 times that in the United States. These women live the healthiest lives on the planet, right up until they die. Butner christened the regions that contain these aging champs blue zones for the color of the pen he used to create concentric rings around the original maps. What in the world are blue zoners doing to live such a long time? People around them would certainly like to know especially in the United States. One-fifth of all Americans over the age of 65 already have mild cognitive impairment, the first knock on the door of life-wrenching dementia. One-third of all Americans have high blood pressure, the first knock on the door of life-ending cardiovascular issues. What's frustrating about these deficits is that a great deal of our aging lives is under our control. Only a paltry 20% of our tenure on Earth is supervised by how well we picked our parents. That means that 80% of how long we live is up to us, or at least up to our environment. And that's just according to one study, Generous with Genes. More miserly research says we can blame only 6% of the variants on our genes. A hefty 94% is soldered into our lifestyle. In a 2012 National Geographic article, Butner wrote about the secrets of the blue zoners. Two things pop out to me. They all made similar lifestyle choices, and nearly all of their choices match up with the cognitive neuroscience we've been covering in this series. These people live in far-flung regions, inhabit vastly different cultures, and don't communicate much with the outside world. No scientist told them what to do, yet they arrived at the same peer-reviewed spot, and each one enjoyed an extraordinarily long and healthy life.